Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to do a simple back to school makeup look. So I'm just going to be starting off with my primer and this is the Milani Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer. I wanted to use this one today instead of my usual ones just because I wanted to try and use more drugstore products for this look. So once I get that placed all over my problem areas, which is in my T-zone, I'm just going to rub it all into my face. Next, I am going to go in with my concealer, and I'm sorry I forgot to show you guys on camera, but I'm just using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger, and recently I have been doing my concealer before my foundation. I feel like it's been working a little bit better for me, so I'm going to just put this under my eyes, on my eyelids, and then anywhere I have any dark spots that I do want to conceal. Then I'm just going to be taking that small eyeshadow brush from Ulta and just blending that into my face. And then, same as last time, I am just going to pat the concealer in with my finger just to make sure I'm getting a seamless blend. Next, I'm going to go in with my first foundation, and I know this one is not drugstore either, but this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade sand and I'm just putting this all in the center of my face because I feel like it highlights the portions that I want to highlight without actually having to use a highlighter to do so and then I'm gonna go in with the Milani conceal and perfect foundation in the shade tan and I'm just gonna put this one all on the perimeters of my face with this foundation whenever I put it all over my face the first time I just felt very one-dimensional and flat and I didn't like how it looked so that's why I've been doing the lighter foundation in the center and the darker foundation on the outside Once I have finished dotting that all over my face, I'm going to go in with my angled foundation brush and I'm just going to start pressing this into the skin. And recently I actually have been pressing it into the skin instead of doing, you know, like the circular rubbing motions because I feel like my foundation has a better look when I do it this way and it also lasts a lot longer. So I'm just going to continue to blend this into the skin. Next, I am going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder, and this is in the shade Sun Beige. And I am just going to take my powder brush and press this all into my skin as well. Next, I am going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Bronzer, and this is in the shade Medium Bronze. And I am just going to put this all over my forehead. I'm going to put it on my chin, a little bit on my jawline, and then I'm going to do slight contour in my cheek area. And I'm going to be doing this with my buffing brush. I'm going to go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso, and I'm just going to use this to fill in my brows. And I don't know why, but every single time I do my brows on camera, I always forget to uncap the spoolie side. So once I get that side uncapped, I'm going to go in and brush my eyebrows out, and then I'm going to fill them in. Thank you. 
Next, I am going in with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and this is also in the shade Espresso, and I am just going to put this on my eyebrows over the brow pencil. Next, I am going to go in with this little e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, and this is in the style Saturday Sunsets. It's kind of like a pink, a purple, and then a few neutral colors. It comes with this little plastic thing that shows you which colors you're supposed to use on which spots of your eyes, but I'm actually not going to follow that guide. I'm kind of just going to do my own thing. And I forgot to show you guys right now, but I will be showing you in a minute. I'm going to be taking the lighter brown shimmer shade, and I'm going to be putting that into my crease. I'm going to be using my crease brush to do that. Next, I'm going to go in with this darker brown shade with the same crease brush and I'm just going to blend that into the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take that lighter brown color and I am going to put that all over my lower lash line and I'm going to be using that same crease brush. Then I'm going to take that darker brown again and I'm going to put that only on the outer portion of my lash line. Then I'm going to go in with the random Walmart brand eyeshadow brush in my collection and I'm just going to take this lighter shade and I'm going to use that in my brow bone just to highlight and then I'm also going to put that shade into the inner corner. Then I'm going to go back in with that lighter brown color and I'm going to go back in with my crease brush and put that all over both of the eyelids. And here is where I should have stopped with the eyes, but I was feeling a little bit daring today, so I wanted to try a winged liner, and this is just the e.l.f. liquid liner in the shade Jet Black. I have not done a winged liner since before I was pregnant, so it's been like three years now, over three years, and I knew I was stepping out of my comfort zone, but I did want to try it out, and I ended up failing miserably, so you will see in these clips that I put the liner on, and then I take it off. So I am back with the eyeliner on. Um, I took off the wings and just left it as a line on my lash line. I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Length Waterproof Mascara and I'm just going to put this on my top and bottom lashes. Next, I'm just going to go in with my Lottie London Blush Crush Blush, and this was in the shade Drake, and I'm just going to be using my blush brush and putting this on my cheeks. And somehow I ended up putting way too much on, so I went back in with my powder brush that still had a little bit of the powder on it and just blended that out. So here is the finished look. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to answer them. And if you have any video ideas or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section as well. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.